action. <laughs> We're running, silent place. Is everything rolling? Everything's rolling. What does hope mean to you? Hope is a warm wool blanket on a cold winter night. Hope is like a warm hug to your heart. Hello. I think hope is believing that things will be fine, even when it really looks like they won't. I think it's all about not giving up, because when we give up, we don't have hope anymore. Hope is a cold nose that nudges you to get back up after you've fallen down. Hope is a rainbow after the storm. <laughs> <laughs> I like all of those. I've got more. <laughs>2018 we launched a film called Pip and little did we know she was gonna have incredible success our original hope was to build that brand awareness and hopefully we'd get a million views and never in our wildest dreams did we expect to be the number one watched animated short on YouTube with over 400 million views and counting. A lot of people would come to us and say, when are you gonna do a sequel for Pip? My answer was always, we're not going to do a sequel because we can never replicate the success of this animated film. Just three months later, Titus is in his office and he's walking on his treadmill. And the next thing I know, he's standing at my doorway and he's telling me, we need to do another animated short. I believe that you need to dream big or go home. That's a great idea. We should schedule a meeting. We actually convened uh, a couple of brainstorming meetings. But we need to make this magical. There were four of us. It was Stacy, Lisa O'Kane, Leslie Rowe, myself. What if we made it Christmas-like? Okay, what's the scene? And we threw a bunch of ideas together. Well, let's have a veteran in it. Yes, 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 yes. Stacy, what do you think? We knew that we could tell this story in 60 seconds. And then when the dog enters the scene, everything can change. We all thought it was a great story, and it felt like the time was right to bring it to life. I love it. chose Studio Kimchi because we already had a track record with them. They're extremely talented and we felt that it was the right fit. The first thing we, we do is we access the story and uh, we see how can we make it better, like in cinematic terms. We go through the script and from then on we go to storyboards. Storyboard is like a comic book version of the film, so it's translating from words to actual images. We start designing everything, characters, sets, and we also start doing layouts. So the trainer is the same trainer from Pip. We thought it would be good to have a connection there, especially she represents uh, Southeastern guide dogs in the film. But the most important thing was changing the hairstyle so we can see a change in her. When it comes to Hope's design, well, it's quite challenging because I had to find a balance between the cartoon style and realistic. I had to make it look happy, but without not being too obvious. The one thing we 
went through with Hope was really deciding what her, her coat color should be. And I'm very excited of where we landed there. But I spend a lot of time looking at ear ratios on dogs. Seeing those kind of big floppy perky ears is something that I think just gives kind of a, a, a warm sense to the dog. The veteran was um, our most challenging character I felt like we worked on. And ultimately we decided, you know what, let's go look at a real person that we know. And we landed on a graduate of ours named Dave Karras with Service Dog Bob. Once we started kind of looking at Dave and modeling some of the features of the veteran after Dave, it kind of all came together for us. Does Dave know? Dave has no idea, so when he sees this, maybe he'll see a glimpse of himself there. The layout is the first version of 3D of the film, where we set up the shots and the cameras. The layout then informs the animator on exactly how long the shot is, where the character needs to be, so they have to respect that. We do a character bible as well, which goes through every single shot and gives a description, like this is what happens in the shot, and this is what the characters are thinking. And then the animator comes up with the acting for each shot. So we're telling the story here about how this guy will live, you know. So that's coming with environment, and we create and we have to create the world. The veteran is a younger man who has returned from war and is starting a new life. And therefore, we envisioned a home that was somewhat modest with perhaps slightly or gently used furniture, but nevertheless, a house that was warm and had a very joyful feeling about it. The design for the mental piece was very carefully elaborated because you know it had an importance to the story. We see it in the background a few times, but you see a, a close-up of it, which is kind of like the backstory of the veteran. We also spent quite a bit of time carefully selecting what each of those pictures would depict. We wanted to uh, create a sense of warmth. Getting to look at a glimpse into his house and seeing his backstory and the way that he's served our country, you just can tell that he needs a little hope in his life. The Christmas tree was al is almost like a character in the story and it was hard to get it uh, perfect. We went through a lot of iterations for the Christmas tree itself. Because it needed to look a bit bare, and we just sparse decorations. I have a folder with more than 50 different Christmas tree. There's a saying, I'll know it when I see it. And so we may not have had a, an exact vision of what this tree needed to look like, but we knew it when we saw it. And once we had the 50th tree, it was just right. Rigging is what gives you the ability to animate the character because you can think of it as statues. When you model everything in 3D, everything is like a stone statue. You can move it as a statue, as a whole, but you can't give them life. So, so the rigging creates a skeleton and tells us where exactly the deformations are for every single finger, muscle, face. We worked with the same composer as we did for Pip. Okay. Let's do this.
The inspiration I get are from the images that uh, Bruno, the director, gives me. The challenge is to have everything in one minute, so we need to have sadness in the beginning, we need to have space in the music, but then we have to wrap up everything with emotion. I like to say it's a bit like a, a statue that we build. We start uh, very rough, but then we need to sculpt everything and in every side, so we need to have a 3D vision of everything. So I start with the, the raw, it's the piano uh, usually. One first step is was knowing that it was a Christmas video, so the sound of Christmas must be must be there somewhere. So slight bells, <laughs> they're going to be there. It's very important in the first seconds of the video to establish the mood that you want to have. When I play, if I don't feel the emotion, the others are not going to feel it. So, I give it all my love. <laughs> When we started working on the project, we said, you know, though this isn't a Pip sequel, we'd love to, you know, put a little Easter egg in there, as they like to call it, uh, to pay homage to Pip. Easter egg is something that we showed in Pip, but brought back into Believe in Hope. We still don't know the story of Ace, but we now know there's a film made in this world about him, that he was important somehow. Well, let's have a veteran in it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's taken us almost a year to create the 60-second animated short. It was like opening a Christmas present every time we saw the next iteration of this project. And the best part is, is when it actually turns out even better than what you expected. You know, in the end, it needs to connect with people. So two of our donors funded this project. The Patton Family Foundation funded the production, and Gary and Melody Johnson funded the advertising campaign. The reason these individuals stepped forward to help us is because they believe in the importance of telling our story. I would like everyone who sees Believe in Hope to think about either giving hope by supporting our mission, or getting hope by applying for one of our extraordinary dogs. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Thank you.